Hello friends, my name is Sarah Ostahowski and I'm a mom, an entrepreneur, and an attorney at Sarah's Law Firm. And today I'm going to read the book Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Reese. This is one of our favorite books at home. As you can tell, it has been well loved and read many, many times. I hope you enjoy. Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. There's Gerald right there, look how tall he is. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Look at that, he fell down. Hmm. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. That wasn't very nice, was it? Hmm. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted on the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. But the cricket's right up here. <laughs> listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and he picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. That looks like fun. <laughs> Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there earlier on arrived while Gerald boogied and watched, quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald is the best dancer that we have ever seen. Look at him go. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply turns, twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful day.